Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm all ready to go for a run this morning. I just fancy it. I don't really feel like the gym, so I just thought, let's go for a run. The weather looks a little bit cloudy, which is nice because obviously it's been so hot lately. So that's good because there's nothing worse than running in like 800 degrees heat. So I'm gonna go for a run. I think I'm gonna do like a couple days vlog, maybe even a day vlog. The only reason I'm thinking a couple is because I actually don't have too much planned today. But I really want to go shopping tomorrow. I want to go to Lakeside. I really fancy just mooching around Primark. I've not been to Primark in such a long time. And I watched Aisha and Zelia's Primark haul the other day. And they had so much nice stuff. So I just fancy doing the old school walking around shops. I say old school because I just feel like everyone online shops nowadays. So I'm just going to go for a little mooch. I'll see if Molly wants to come and see if we can find anything and maybe make this i've not done a haul in a while either so if i get anything i'll obviously incorporate it in this video as well and yeah to mix it up a little bit from a weekly vlog i thought i'd just do a little bit of a shorter vlog and you never know it could end up really long still but I'm gonna go for a run first i'm i really want to try and run a few times a week now I'm going to Lanzarote next week and I'm going to take my gym trainers because I'm going away with my uncle and he is a crazy running man and I feel like it'll be good to run with him. So we'll see. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to go for a run and I will check in with you all shortly. But welcome back to my channel. I hope you enjoy this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And let's go running. <laughs> One thing about me, no matter how tired I am, I always do skincare. It's important, even, oh, I mean, I don't really go on nights out, but even if I'm coming from a late event and I've got makeup on, there's nothing worse than having to take your makeup off when you're tired, but I get excited to the skincare part. And Skin and Me have sponsored today's video, so thank you so much to them. I know so, so many of you guys that have started to use Skin and Me products and you absolutely love it. So there's not much I actually have to say, but I know I've got a few more subscribers since I last spoke about them. Or if you don't follow me on Instagram, then you might not have heard of them. So I'm going to quickly give you the lowdown. And I've got a couple products since I last spoke about Skin and Me that I've been testing out for myself because I like to give everything a go before I start talking about it online and see if I've actually noticed anything, if I recommend it to you, etc. So like I just said, when I'm tired and I don't want to take my makeup off and I just want a quick routine to get into bed, I just want a really short skincare routine and that's something that I've always tried to do but it's really hard because you want everything that your skin is screaming for so I've literally found the perfect three-step routine with skin and me and the daily doser of course is where it's at so this is what skin and me I think become famous for and really known for you go onto their website you fill out this consultation form as always i will link everything in the description box and i'll try and explain it all properly in case you get to the end of this video and you forget but you fill out all your needs that you want for your skin everyone's so different some people want to see a little bit more brightness in their skin some people want to focus on texture some people want to focus on pigmentation and i've just been away so i have got a little bit of pigmentation coming through but again that's something that's not there all the time so even you as an individual you might need to change your routine every so often so that's why this brand is insane because what other skincare brand can you go to and say oh, but I don't really like this ingredient because it doesn't do this for me. This is the brand where you can do that and you fill out step by step what you want. You tell them everything. You tell them what you do like, what you don't like, the medication you're on, what kind of lifestyle you have. And it's just so specifically designed for you that you're of course going to see the results that you want. The daily doses are obviously designed to give you the perfect dose. So this is one I've just finished, as you can see. 
actually it's probably best if I show you my fresh one and the nights are actually listed here I just love the concept I always get so excited about it. I just think it's so clever and you twist the cap I don't want to waste any but I can show you on this one I guess because it's done but you twist it there shouldn't be any left because I'm done oh there's a tiny bit left literally that's it so you twist the cap and this one's obviously done so it has got everything you need all the information on the bottle who's prescribed it the date you should use it by and then your active ingredients that are in it and this is my fresh one so when i twist it it gives me the exact amount you've probably seen all them tiktoks that are like this is how much moisturizer you need this is how much blah 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 you need and it all can get a little bit confusing but obviously all the key ingredients that you need for your skin for what you want to achieve are in your twist and then like i said once you're done you can get your fresh one it comes straight to you in the post and you're good to go for the next month so then let's talk about these two so i'd say the three key things personally for me and i feel like everyone wants to achieve is to cleanse the skin get it nice and clean treat it with all the key ingredients that you need for your skin which nine times out of ten i feel like you don't even know yourself because you've not got the expertise but there are the experts behind this brand and then you want to hydrate your skin which is the moisturizer of course in the day use your own spf protect your skin guys but these i have been loving let me show you the consistency i have actually done my skincare do you know what i could put on a little bit more moisturizer because i absolutely love moisturizer but they're just so gentle clean they just feel amazing on the skin and they're just i'm obsessed there's no fragrance i just feel very clean and put together you know and then i'll show you how the cleanser is the cleanser super gentle i've always gone for super gentle cleansers i don't like anything that feels like it's stripping my skin anything too thick and abrasive this is just almost like the consistency of a moisturizer to be honest it just feels like butter and you see how quickly that just melted into the skin obviously i use water but they are my three steps it's so quick and easy to do i honestly feel like it's all i need again like i said with spf in the day i mean by all means if you have your eye cream your lip balms and stuff that you love add them but these are the three key things that i feel like you must be added into your routine so if you are interested and you do want to try them, I do have a discount code, which I will leave on the screen and also tell you it's Sydney May and you get your first month for £3.50. Normally the daily dose site is £24.99 a month. So definitely if you're thinking, oh, this sounds good, make the most of this code and test it out for yourself. Give your skin a go. I'd say give it a go for around a month to two months to really see the benefits that you can get. There's no point trying it for a couple of nights and then being like, mm, I'm not sure. Definitely give it a good go. And with the code, you can receive a one month free trial of the cleanser and the moisturizers. I will leave the link in the description if you do want to check it out. And let me know how you get on. I do actually love chatting to you guys. I love replying to you all in the comments and replying to you on DMs. So let me know if this is something that you already use and that you love or if you're going to try it. Or even if you ever want to chat in the comments or my DMs about anything else, just hit me up, you know? But thank you so much to Skin and Me for sponsoring. I love you guys. And let's crack on with the rest of the vlog. Hello. Hi. We've come to the cinema. I've not been to the cinema in... Oh, how quick it turns your tongue blue. I know. I didn't get a tango after bus. I didn't fancy it, but now I'm regretting it because we always go to Cineworld and they don't do them anymore. They only do the... They call? I see. Oh yeah. If you know what I mean. A healthy version. I look a bit gross today. Sorry about that. But big popcorn, big coke, big tango ice blast, and with what we come to see? Where the crawdads sing. <clears throat> Where the crawdads sing. Have you heard of that before? I'd never heard of it. We came in with every intention to see Elvis. We have. And we just keep going against it, so I don't think it's meant for us because we either can't make it to the cinema or you that you can get back from work that time. Yeah. And then it's we came in here, so it's not meant to be, it's fine. So we're gonna watch that. We'll let you know how it goes. But we've had a little shop around Lakeside. I've got a few bits in Primark, so I'll show you them 
either when I get home or if it's too late I'll show them tomorrow but I don't know how the cinema goes one of the things you can't really vlog in there so <laughs> I'll just have to keep you posted but we're having a catch up we're not seeing each other in like two weeks but fun story Molly's coming away with me soon she's coming to Lanza she's coming to Lanza guys so she will be part of the Lanza vlogs don't worry I think it's time for us to go through this bag of goodies shall we also I'm living in these unitard kind of is that what they're called yeah i guess so this one well to be honest all the ones i have from adenola and it's like almost is it lycra well it's like swim <laughs> it's obviously not swim material but it's just i love this like capped sleeve vibe i know that a lot of the skim stuff is like that but i am just obsessed i want a few bodysuits like this kind of shape but black, I feel like it's very flattering. So I've been loving these and I've just chopped this on for today. Just washed and straightened my hair. I'm feeling very put together. So let's go through the Primark bag. I'm gonna prop you up and we'll do a little haul. Okay, what is that lighting like? Whenever I sit on the edge of my bed and I'm either doing stuff on Instagram or YouTube, I always think that looks a bit sketchy and it's like, it's like CCTV or something. That's my projector. But this is what we're all here for, really. <sighs> Was I disappointed by Primark? I'm going to be honest, a little bit. There was a lot in there, obviously, but it was just a lot of, I'm going to be honest, crap. And it's very bright in there at the moment. I feel like if you're... Do you know what I said to Molly? This is this would have been perfect for me last year. It just it's so crazy how just in a year you can like your style can evolve. And yeah, I just I'm not don't get me wrong, I love like the odd bold colour thing, but there's just a lot of colour going on. And it's not even like a nice I feel like a lot of it's just really tacky colours, I'm being honest. But what I did get, I'm happy with, I think. But I've not looked at anything since I got it yesterday, so. There's a big mix in here. There's not much clothes going on, got to be honest. But there's some PJs and underwear and stuff, so. Let's just do it like a lucky dip. I'm just going to grab. So, this was in the sale for £5. This is nice, actually. This reminds me, obviously, the quality you can feel is just a lot cheaper than I was going to compare it to that brand that's like Hunza G is it I think it's sold in Selfridges and people rave about them they the one thing I'm like mm, is the stuff from that brand comes in one size and I don't love brands that only come in one size I know they're supposed to be super stretchy but there's only so much stretch something you can give and to be honest because this was in the sale there wasn't many sizes but I got this in a size 10 I liked that it was just kind of what is that called bando no sleeves and i thought this could be maybe even cute as a bodysuit with denim shorts or jeans but i thought when i have a tan this will be cute i never wear swimsuits i always buy them but i always get too sweaty to be in a swimsuit like you know when your belly and back feels really sweaty you know but i liked that this is that kind of stretchy waffle kind of material and it was in the sale so that's the first thing i got i got these sunglasses because they were a pound i picked them up and i liked how pearly they were i have a pair of sunglasses like this from desi which is desi perkins sunglasses brand but i tell you what i've got a very big head and they're just so tired like i can't wear them for longer than 10 minutes without feeling like i've got a headache but i really like them when i'm wearing just like really cream or white and I want like pearly vibes so I thought these were really cute and they were reduced to a pound so how could I say no and I also haven't actually told anyone this really other than Cass I lost my Versace sunglasses in Ibiza well I left them on the airplane so Someone from that Jetsu flight has a lovely pair of Versace sunglasses. 
So that's why I'm sticking to Primark or Pound ones now. I do have another pair of the sunglasses, but I'm too scared to wear them now because I don't want to lose them. I got this because it's been so hot in the UK recently. And I keep seeing people... I watch a lot of YouTube. I watch a lot of American YouTubers. And I always see people rolling their face with like ice and stuff or putting ice cubes on their face. And this is a full face gel mask which you put in the fridge or the freezer. I guess the fridge. Oh, do not put in the freezer. Good job I read that. And then it's nice and cold in your face and apparently like it makes your face deep puff. It like makes it a bit red and then it like goes down. It's really nice. And I just thought, should we get it out? And I just thought it looked really fun. And I'm gonna take it away with me next week. And maybe as I come in from the pool, I can have the 10 minute de-ice and you strap it on like that and you can keep it on. I've only done that one strap there. I just think, why not? Do you know what? The little beauty gadget section. Oh my God, it's going to have makeup all over it. The little beauty gadget section in Primark is fun. It's a good time. Very excited to have a play with that. Here we go. More gadgets. So this is a handheld body massager. At this point, I literally feel like I was buying stocking fillers, but I was so intrigued. You put it on your hand like a hand strap. I'm not gonna open everything because I just don't want this to go on forever, but it has little balls and then you rub it on the skin. You can see these pictures here. You rub it across the skin and obviously the balls get deep into the muscles. Used to help promote circulation and help relieve muscle tension. Good. I got some makeup wipes. I think makeup wipes are great for taking off eye makeup. I don't recommend using makeup wipes unless you are really unwell and you don't have time. I wouldn't even say if you're really tired because I have been on the brink of falling asleep standing up and I've still managed to do my actual skincare routine. So... I don't want to hear it, but there's nothing wrong with getting a really simple makeup wipe and running it through your eyes. I actually think it's much better because you waste so much cleanser trying to get off your mascara with your cleanser. More gadgets. This is a face and body massager. I'm not going to run this on my face right now because I, when I picked this up, I thought straight away I need to kind of anti-back this when I get it and just chuck it in my sink because... I don't like that it's not in packaging and they were all just hanging up so I bet so many people have touched them. I will wash my hands after but you roll this across your face and it does that whole like sculpting thing. And again, I see a lot of people use these things on TikTok. I do have one of them really expensive new skin ones which I haven't really used much. So here I am buying a four pound one from Primark that looks like disco balls but I will let you know how that goes. We might as well carry on with these little beauty gadgets. So. I did a YouTube clip in a vlog a while ago and I did the dressing gown trick. I think I'd just done it on YouTube. Did I do a TikTok? I don't think I did. Because I really didn't think it was going to work. And my hair was super curly and it was fun. But this drew me in because I just love how Primark jump on everything. This is the Heatless Curl set and it's got a very structured the bit for your head. It's soft on your hair, which is silk. It's good for your hair because it doesn't break. Comes with two little scrunchies and also a clip. So I thought I'd give this a test. And last time I did this for my hair, a lot of people asked me how I did it. And I gave it all the, yeah, yeah, I'll, sh I'll tell you. And I never did, which typical. So I will, I promise, 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 I'll do this in a vlog soon. But you literally, there's so many tutorials on TikTok to be honest, which are probably way better than me explaining it. I just thought, why not? Next up, if you haven't heard about the little underwear sets that are ribbed and stretchy from Primark, they come in pretty much every colorway now, then you must be living under a rock. I have been wearing these little underwear sets for, I wanna say like a year. I don't even know if they've been out that long. I don't know if they've gone up in price as well. They're six pound now for a set, which is not bad, is it? 
and they're just very very comfy and also i think they're really flattering i honestly might be too much information i've got some very very expensive victoria's secret sets and once i walked in the bedroom with this one in brown and Cass was like wow you look really good and it was a six pound set from Primark and it was definitely it was this one in brown i remember and i remember i like walked to the mirror because i was like what is he talking about and I was like, oh my god, damn. Like, I do look good in this. I think these are so flattering. I don't know what it is. But I get these in a size medium. I don't love that it's set sizes. But yeah, I just kind of make it work. And then finally, I got one more thing. <laughs> I told you it's quite boring. I feel like... I don't know. Did I get a lot? Not really. This is literally the saving grace of everything because it is stunning this is a pajama set it's a little bit more on the pricey side compared to other stuff i got but it's just very luxe for primark the shorts are a fiver i mean not overboard but if you add them up it's over a tenner and seven pounds for the top this i wouldn't be shocked if i saw this in victoria's secret this is gorgeous the rosy kind of pink the little tie sides I just think this is literally divine. They do do like one off really cute pajamas that they're literally knickers, let's be honest. Do you know what? The pajama section I had a lot of time for. They've got a lot of skims pajama dupes in at the moment. I can't bring myself at the moment during this hot weather to buy long sleeve pajamas and pajama bottoms. I just can't do it because I just, yeah we just got to hope that they're still in stock later in the year, but they're so soft. I recommend if you're a pajama junkie, you need to go into Primark right now because the pajama section saves the whole of Primark right now. It makes up for the colourful, summery stuff going on in the middle. But that is the final piece that I got. Doesn't my hair look so long? I can't believe it. That is what I got. I think that's pretty good considering I walked around the first time and I was just... I kind of needed sunglasses on, it's so bright in there. I just don't understand, I feel like people get such good stuff in Primark and I made sure I went to a really big Primark, I went to Lakeside, which is my favourite Primark to go to normally. Either way, I want to do a big haul video at some point, so let me know what shops you want me to look at. Maybe I can look online at Zara and find some better pieces, but that is the haul for now. And I feel like this is a really poor excuse for a vlog, but I am not doing much at the moment i'm going away next week so i'm kind of just in that weird limbo phase because this will be i think my last trip for the summer because i'm going away for two weeks so lands of vlogs are coming the content's going to get way better i'm actually really excited for the next couple months of content there's a lot in store there's good videos coming i've kind of mapped it all out but this kind of limbo phase here, I don't want to just ghost and not be putting out videos, but there's not much going on, but there's good things coming, I promise. I will check in shortly and let you know if I do anything, but to be honest, I've got a lot to do in the house today. I've got a lot of clearing up to do, sorting out, which is very boring, so I'll let you know if anything exciting happens. <laughs> Morning everyone, I'm just in bed editing, obviously, <laughs> editing this video back and I just wanted to pop on and close this video out and say thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for supporting my videos if you do. I kind of get in my head a little bit when I do vlogs like this. I don't know why because this is quite a lengthy vlog considering it's like 24 hours with me. Also, you've got to ignore my eyebrows, I need to get them done. <laughs> but... I don't know if I'm overthinking it, thinking there's not much substance to the video, but I did want to get a video up for you guys. Like I said, there's not a hell of a lot going on in my life right now or anything that is. There's not much to update on right now, but it's so frustrating to have to say good things are coming. But for the meantime, I do really appreciate if you still click on my videos and show me love and support. It means the world, especially at this really weird time at the moment not going to go into it too much but I'm sure you've heard 
influencers say that there's a massive change with Instagram. I'm sure you've seen the big change with Instagram. It's just very disheartening. And I think it's inevitable in the end you start to lose a little bit of motivation when you think you're creating this content and it's not reaching the right people. Like people like you guys, the people that follow us and I know so many of you don't even see my Instagram content nowadays. A little side note, don't forget you can click if you're on your feed on the top left corner which says Instagram, click on Instagram and it has a drop down that says following and favourites and you can either add me to your favourites or just click on following and it will bring up your chronological feed with everyone you follow but you have to remember to click on it every time which is frustrating. But anyways, I hope you did enjoy this video, sorry it's a little bit short and a little bit all over the place. I really did think I'd get a big Primark haul together. There wasn't loads in there and I didn't want to buy stuff for the sake of it. But next week we've got Lanzarote vlogs coming. I know that that's how some of you probably would have found me in the beginning from my Lanza vlogs. And I did say that that's my last trip. That's actually not my last trip I lied. I'm going to Mykonos soon for a wedding. But we're also combining it as a girls trip with a few of the girls. And yeah, I just want to say thank you for watching. I really appreciate you all. If you comment on my videos, it means a lot. I love chatting to you guys. I always try and reply to as many of you as possible. And also, if you ever DM me, if you ever want to recommend a video, I really appreciate it. And, yeah. I love you guys. It's now Sunday, so I'm putting this up in live time. And also, I just want to mention that my brand, 4849, has a sale on at the moment. Just a flash sale. Payday20 is a discount code, and you can save yourself 20% off site-wide while stocks last and i think that's everything i want to say oh and happy anniversary to my beautiful nan and granddad it would have been their 30th anniversary today and i will be spending the day with my nan today and we will be thinking a lot about my granddad which i do every day but yeah i don't know maybe that's a reason why i don't know i just haven't really felt myself this week but like I said, I still love getting content out. I would hate to be that person that just goes missing for a little while. Without any explanation, I'd rather just explain how I'm feeling, where my head's at, stuff like that. So, anyways. I'm waffling and repeating myself. Have a wonderful Sunday and I'll see you guys soon.